studentky a milí studenti. Recently I have realized that there are five Czech words which do not exist in the positive form. And please don't believe that I want to be negative. It's not the case, it's just uh, that it's very surprising because usually when we have uh, an adjective, let's say, which is in the negative form, for example, nesnadný, then it stems from the positive form, snadný. And I believe that most of adjectives uh, work uh, like this. So I have been thinking of the strange aspects of, of a language. And here, oh, this is beautiful. quiet and romantic place in the middle of a city so I wanted to have a little word with you and when I realized that they, there were a few Czech words which cannot be really which do not exist in the positive form I was thinking wow how this is possible and why I haven't noticed this before so Let's have a look on these words and please uh, let me know what you think. The first word is bezvýchodný. Here it's an adjective. And we could say bezvýchodný means nemající východisko. So bezvýchodný, we have the root which could be, which probably is chod. Hot. It's related to chodit, but also to an ethnical group, we call them chodové. They are like of Czech rangers. Wow, we have rangers. Historically, they were guardians of uh, the borders. Chodové. So now back to bezvýchodný. And uh, I should give you a more elaborate sentence that uh, just nemající východisko. V bezvýchodné situaci spáchali parašutisté v kostele Cyrila a metoděje sebevraždu. This is a long sentence. Don't get scared. It's just to put you into perspective. Uh, oh, I am in New York. If only all the people weren't talking French here, as you perhaps have guessed. guessed. So this sentence uh, refers to the Second World War, where Josef Gabčík and Jan Kubisch, members of the group Anthropoid, infiltrated on the Czech grounds with the objective to suppress the SS Obergruppenführer Reinhard Heydrich. And just for those who might be interested about these historical facts, Heydrich was um, driven in a 320 class C Mercedes, a black car which were kind of abandoned on the crime scene. And no one ever wondered what happened with this car. So many years after, it was found in the depository of the Barandov Film Studios. It's like um, Hollywood, but bigger and cheaper. It's on a hill, on a Barandov hill in Prague, over the river Vltava. It's a beautiful place. And um, later it was uh, given uh, to the Technical Museum in Prague. Could be interesting to see it. Now you understand what a bezvýchodná situace means. For bezvýchodný, we cannot say východný. 
východ, OK. Chod, OK. But východná situace or východné řešení doesn't exist. Look at this. It's nearly sunset and I know it's not the beautiful sunset from the Czech uh, countryside I used to show you, but I am trying to find beauty even here in the middle of, of the city. At least the colors of autumn are very beautiful. is bez pochyby. Bez pochyby is the particle, the only one of my group of six strange words. And bez pochyby uh, stems from chyb, chyb. Then we have pochyb, pochyby, pochyby. I believe pochyby exists only in plural. And bez pochyby doesn't exist in the positive form. At least it doesn't exist as a particle. We can say pochyby, but pochyby is a substantive. So, oh, the sun is really going down. Have a look on this and then seriously we work. Vnímavý student jako vy se bez pochyby česky rychle naučí. Vnímavá studentka jako vy se bez pochyby česky rychle a dobře naučí. Bez pochyby. Another one is nevidomý. Again, we cannot say vidomý. It's related to vid, and vid is related, it's not only the grammatical form of a verb, but it is related to the sight, vid, vidět. And I believe vid is the root of vidět, and also of nevidomý, nevidomý člověk. Nevidomá žena, nevidomý muž. A nevidomý člověk, mě žádá o přesný čas. Nevidomý člověk mě žádá o přesný čas. Neúprostný. Neúprostný jsou the root pros, prosit. Uprosit would be the verb, but we cannot say uprosný. We can only say neúprosný. Neúprosná realita. Neúprosná realita odrazu zrcadla trápí mnoho lidí. More colors have a look. Another one. It's the expression or the adjective of znepokojen. Znepokojen. It's funny because here it's discutable. I didn't see this before, but we you could argue with me that znepokojený is the positive form and neznepokojený is the negative form. I would say that Uklidněný is the exact antonym. Do you say antonym? So the antonym of znepokojený would be uklidněný. But never mind, I find this word interesting, znepokojený. And here the, the root would be pokoj or even koj, if we really want to be dashingly daring, which I am. So, pokoj, we know what that means. Koj would be the stem, the root of kojit, which means uh, this, yes, kojit. 
and ukojení has several meanings but I will give you the one which means satisfied and since pokoj and ukojení are both I would say really very important human needs which without being fulfilled can threaten your life as nepokojení could really stem from uh, pokoj and from and pokoj could stem from koit so again you can argue and you would surely have a point but it's not about winning it's about questioning znepokojení so a sentence nejsem znepokojená jsem naopak uklidněná and this is very uklidňující and this is absolutely not znepokojivé I love these little tsunamis on the sand. And then the last one is bezutěšný. Bezutěšný. The root would be a těch, těšit. And we have an expression útěcha. Útěcha. But we cannot really say útěšný doesn't exist so bezútěšný bezútěšný ve velkom městě není jen bezútěšná krajina As a conclusion, something very hope-giving would be Naděje umírá poslední i v bezútěšné situaci. I v bezútěšné situaci naděje umírá poslední. So keep this in mind. If you ever are in a bezútěšná situace, it's just a point of view. Studenti, I hope you will find these words interesting and take it as a, you know, as something more enriching for for your study. Budu se těšit brzy na